What's up all you lads and ladies? Welcome to another fascinating video in the world of comedy and reddit. If you liked the video, post your favorite reddit comment below, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Thanks to Sandals Suck in my last video who commented that Aragorn the movie sucked. I did it did. Hope you enjoy this video about the science of attraction, and what people find unattractive. I guess we can all figure out what to avoid. Not a problem for me with this charming British accent. What all too common trait do you find extremely unattractive in the opposite or same? X. People being obsessed with their social media presence. I recently got told I was hiding something and it made me seem untrustworthy. Because I don't have a Facebook account. Social media has got people's heads all screwed up. Which is the reason I got rid of it. Self-absorbed behavior. The Kardashian. Housewives of. Syndrome. You are not the star of some reality show. Stop acting like it. I get such second-hand embarrassment when average people post to social media like they're famous. It seems to be the norm now to post content like you're addressing fans and not literally just your friends and family as most are. Hi guys here's a quick haul I've picked up from Lush. Haven't been posting much lately due to change of circumstances, but I'm back. Big thank you to that top shop for my new jeans. They are amazing. I'm sure your 200 followers are on the edge of their seats. You nailed it man. Second hand embarrassment is definitely something I can relate to. I always try to stay neutral about stuff cause you know, not my life, whatever. But sometimes it just gets a little cringy. It is sad that people can get so self absorbed, really. People who do things for clout and don't actually care for being genuine until they need something from you. Person gives homeless man x amount of money and he cries type of videos. Don't show me that it. Give the man the money, feel good about yourself, and frick off. Don't give it to him and expect me to praise you, you attention seeker. It absolutely is a good deed, but it's never done to solely help the guy, it's done for internet praise. Shouting at their partners in public. You would hate my parents lol. I feel the same way. Oh. Well I've been guilty of doing the same and it's one of those things that make me feel like it about myself every time I remember it. It's okay to make mistakes so long as you learn from them. Remembering embarrassing things is painful, but it's part of learning the lesson. Narcissistic, that goes to both genders. Overconfidence is really nasty, because it usually means that they think everyone, including you, is beneath them and treat you accordingly. I have enough enemies who try to put me down to lift themselves up in my life to not date one of them. Definitely a fine line between good self-confidence and destructive overconfidence. I don't like when they guilt trip me. Oh yeah, wow, you would say that. My pet goldfish died when I was 7 and you really want to bring up having fish for dinner? Okay wow. My cousin leaves in Africa and you want to complain about dinner wow. Okay Satan. My ex almost joined the army a few years before we met, but didn't. Because he said that training sounded, like, super hard. And you went and watched a war movie with your housemates? You're so freaking insensitive. Random. The in one asshole and I don't care if people call me an asshole attitude. Also the I tell it like it is or always speak my mind people. Who are basically unfiltered assholes. Brutally honest people are typically more concerned with the brutality than the honesty. I'm honest and I can totally say this is true. People who self describe as brutally honest are looking for a past to be mean spirited. It also shows lack of growth in my opinion. If you're being a mean girl at age 30, you missed some developments along the way. If anything, you can honestly say, you don't want to know what I think. Shut down the question. Anyone who takes any advice, disagreement, constructive criticism as a personal attack. Alternatively, people who try to justify personal attacks as constructive criticism. I'm just being honest. I'm sorry you take everything so personally. I'm apologizing. 
I'm sorry you can't take a joke. Feeling the need to post on social media constantly and pretending that they don't care about it, but obviously care a lot. It talking others to make themselves look better. If someone it talks to everyone else when they're not around, I usually start to wonder how they talk when I'm not in the room. Can the opposite be true too? People who would talk themselves constantly. Playing hard to get. If you like me just freaking tell me. Stop beating around the bush. Or when you ask them out, they say no and a couple of months later they tell you they interested in you. But they just wanted you to insist more. Once someone tells me no I'm done. I'm not gonna stop harassing you. I never understood that, when I ask someone out and they say no then I expect that to be the answer. I'm not going to be one of those guys who go around harassing women when they don't say yes to a date, you know. Something that almost all the women I know hate. Oversharing on the internet. When I was 7 I pooped in a cereal box and put it back in the pantry. Life can be full of surprises. Mikey likes it. Okay. But I love it, because how embarrassing people can be. This woman keeps breaking up with her boyfriend and found out she was pregnant when they were broken up. And gets mad at people who are all for their on again off again relationship. Even my boyfriend loves the updates she so freely gives up. I only know all this, because she posts it. Being oblivious to different economic circumstances. Yes. Or poking fun at it. I hated dating while pool. I, 29M, am currently chatting with another guy, 23M, who earns nearly double what I do, and he's a bit like this. I told him I'm saving up for a deposit to buy a house. He said why don't I just ask my parents to pay for one. And talking about dream holidays he's like why don't you just take time off work and just go? He didn't get it that my parents didn't have free loads of money, they're below average don't own their own home etc, and I don't have the savings to go on holiday, taking time off isn't an issue, Aussie annual leave ftw, once I took the time to explain why, and opened his eyes to the fact his upbringing wasn't the norm, he got all sheepish and apologized profusely, he felt silly and rude, but he'd been sheltered so much in life he'd never really spoken to someone outside his tax bracket. He said he thought poor people or renters etc we just lazy or failures. But he's starting to see how he's wrong and what he'd been taught and spoon fed his entire life was a load of it. It's the only reason why I'm giving him a chance, is that he admitted he was wrong and was truly apologetic. So there are the rate occasions where it is understandable, but not excusable, but can also be overcome. Good on you for having the patience and understanding to explain and good on him for actually listening and trying to understand. Some good people all up in here. Littering. You'd be surprised how many people don't give a frick and throw it out their car window. It's disgusting. When I was in basic I went to grab food with a roommate. On our way back he threw some garbage out the window so I told him that if he does that again I'll drive back and make him pick it up or he can walk the rest of the way back. Needless to say I was considered to be that guy when it came to littering. Crazy how littering is so normal for some people, that when you confront them about it you're considered to be a weirdo. If you don't put trash in your pocket until you find a bin, you're the worst. I carry it uncomfortably as I don't want my pocket dirty. Ugh. Completely agree. Second date with a guy and he unwrapped his cigarette packet and threw the plastic on the street as we were walking and it was an immediate deal breaker. Acting stupid for attention. Pushing you to do something you don't want to because everyone does it and it's fun. The telepathy tax. Partners who hold it against their so when they fail to anticipate and fulfill their unspoken needs and desires. Damn it's in words. If you don't tell me, how do you expect me to do something about it or try to fix it at least? Years later when we're in a fight I can't do anything about it. This problem is actually what inspired the creation of Professor X. True story. What is your superpower? 
I understand what my girlfriend wants at all time as well as knowing what I did to upset her. Hot damn. Are you cheating on me? Um know why you're lying I dreamt you cheated on me stop lying. My ex tried that on me once and I flat out told her I refuse to be in a relationship with someone that has no trust, faith in me, and that if she seriously wanted to play that card on me the conversation was going to get a lot more serious. She never did that again. And we actually had a wonderful relationship after that discussion. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite comment from the video in the comment section below for a chance to be featured in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video and I hope you are all staying safe. Show a small channel some love by liking and subscribing. Take care. Pip Pip Cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British.